In this video, I will show you how to achieve localization in your Flutter app. Flutter localization provides the flexibility to add multiple languages to your Flutter app so that you can target multiple region user. For example, country like United States, Canada, user from there will see your app in English, while country like Spain, Mexico, user from there will see your app in Spanish. Before we dive into the code, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Firstly, we have to add packages that needed to achieve Flutter localization. So, go to your pubspec.yaml file, add Flutter localization SDK and INTL package. Next, we have to create translation file for each languages. So inside my lead folder, I will create another folder called L10N. This naming follows Flutter official documentation. To prevent any confusion, I will just follow the official naming. Inside this folder, I will create three .arb file for each languages. So in this tutorial, I will create localization for Arabic, English, and Spanish. .arb file is essentially a JSON file enhanced for localization. So it's store key value pair. Now in each file, I will create a translation language for Hello World. For example, in Arabic, this is the translation for Hello World and will be stored as the value. Same goes for English and Spanish. For tutorial purposes, I will just add one key value pair. If you wish to add more values, just modify the JSON in .arb file. Next, we have to configure localization tool. So in your Flutter project root directory, Create a new file called l10n.yaml. This file will hold the configuration for the gen underscore l10n tool. This gen underscore l10n tool mainly used to generate code for the .arb files. Inside this yaml file, we have to add three configurations. Firstly, arb-dir. The path of the directory that contains the translation files. Secondly, template arb file. The name of the template arb file that will be used as basis for generating the dot localization files. Lastly, output dash localization dash file the name of the file for the output localizations and localization delegate classes once we added this configuration now go back to popspec.yaml file below flutter set the generate value to true This enables Flutter compiler to automatically run the YAML file during build. Now in the terminal, run flutter pub get command. Once this command runs successfully, in your root directory, there is a folder called dot dot underscore tool. Inside this folder, you can see a new folder generated called flutter underscore gen. And inside flutter underscore gen, is all the localization generated code files. Each languages that you add will have its own generated files and one app localization file. Make sure you have the correct number of files generated before you continue. These are generated code file, so do not modify it manually. Coming back to our main dot dot file, firstly, import app localization file.
Then in Material App Widget, set the localization delegates value to app localization dot localization delegates and supported locales value to app localization dot supported locales. Once this is set up, we can now apply localization in our code. Now I will show you how to use Flutter localization in Flutter widget. Firstly, we have to call localization dot override function to override the languages accordingly. In this function, we have to specify the language locale. I will set it to English first. Next, in the child parameter, return a builder widget so that it can access to the locale using the correct build context. In the builder widget, only then return a text widget. In the text widget, we have to access the hello world text using app localization dot of context dot hello world. This is because we have created localized hello world text in our dot arb files. Now let's try it out in the simulator. So as you can see, the simulator showed hello world in English as I set the locale to EN. Now when I change the locale value to ES, which is Spanish, and I rebuild the app, You can see that the hello world text translated to Spanish that I have set in the .arb file. Same goes for Arabic locale. In conclusion, this is how you achieve localization in your Flutter app. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.